today on Finding Eating, Power Wash, Prep and Paint. a three inch circle of the filler to a three inch strip of hardener and the circle has to be about half inch thick and then you just mix it until it's all one color you have to make sure that your floors have been sanded um, completely down to the metal to bond metal to metal you have to make sure that you have one to two inches around each spot. I'm doing this spot right here. So I think I need more hardener because this was thicker than I thought it was. I'm just gonna put a little dab. So what we did was we went around and sanded it down to metal on metal so that we can get this covered and done today. I recommend using gloves and a face mask because these fumes are very noxious <laughs> and this is really, really, really stinky. Seriously, you should wear a mask. I should have a mask on, but I don't. So here we go. And you have to work really quickly because this shit like really dries fast. So, I'm just gonna go around the edges, put my metal down, and then I'll go around the edges of the metal too. I don't know how I'm gonna get stuff in there. There. There we go. And so, some of it's hanging down, but. We're gonna be grinding under the bus. We're gonna grind so under the bus. And after we grind under the bus, we're gonna be putting undercoat on to seal it from both sides. Once you put this on, they just say press firmly. And I just squeeze out along the edges when I do that. I'm gonna do this side too with some of this, just to get it done. twice. I got a ton of this shit. Oh, 
I will show you the undercoat spray we bought too in just a moment. Just want to get this on before it starts to dry. It's insane to me how fast this stuff dries. Like. I literally did the other spot and then seconds later it was already starting to dry and I was like, oh my this god. This recommends you take 80 grit sandpaper and sand this stuff down. We will sand some of the bumps out of it, but we're not really worried about right. looks and here. This is a rubberized undercoat for ru rubberizing anything that's like metal and um, it's just going to help to resist the rust underneath these holes. That we've done. Once this dries, takes 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, we'll be back from the hardware store by then and we will be doing the grinding underneath and the undercoating. Well, you're gonna die. I'll be fine. I'm a good person. Is the color that we decided to go with and the enamel that we decided to go with this goes over the rust oleum rust primer rust stop uh, base and we were going to get started Thanks for watching our video, and if you'd like to see what else we're doing on the bus, just keep on following along, click the like button, and subscribe to our channel. You can also find us on Finding Eden on Instagram, and we'd love to have you join us for the ride.